She's inspired millions of people to follow their dreams, and her journey to success is nothing short of a fairy tale. But behind the glamour and fame lies a haunting story of pain, loss, and heartbreak that few have ever heard. From her childhood struggles, her rise to stardom, to her tumultuous relationships, this is the untold, shocking truth about the life of Gillian Anderson. Born on August 9, 1968, in Chicago, Illinois, Gillian Anderson's early life was a whirlwind of emotions, adventures, and challenges. Her parents, Rosemary and Edward Anderson, were a young couple struggling to make ends meet. Gillian was the first of their three children, and her childhood was far from ordinary. Her family moved to Puerto Rico when she was just a toddler, where they lived for four years before relocating to London, England. The constant moving made it challenging for young Gillian to make lasting friendships, but it also gave her a unique perspective on life. Gillian had so much love for acting, which only grew stronger with time, and after high school, she decided to pursue it as a career. However, her road to success was far from smooth. She struggled to find work, and her early career was marked by rejection and disappointment. But her indomitable spirit and unwavering determination kept her going, and she eventually landed her breakthrough role in the television series The X-Files. The X-Files became a cultural phenomenon, and Gillian Anderson's portrayal of Agent Dana Scully earned her critical acclaim and a legion of fans. She became a household name overnight, and her life changed forever. She has portrayed many more iconic roles throughout her career, but it is her portrayal of Margaret Thatcher in the fourth season of the Netflix series The Crown that has set the world abuzz. Margaret Thatcher was a woman of immense power and influence in the world of politics. She was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and served in that position from 1979 to 1990. Known for her strong leadership style and for being a trailblazer for women in politics, Thatcher's policies had a profound impact on the United Kingdom and the world and her legacy continues to be debated and discussed to this day. It is this legacy that Gillian Anderson sought to capture in her portrayal of Thatcher in The Crown. Anderson's performance was nothing short of breathtaking. She completely transformed herself into Thatcher, both physically and emotionally, and brought the Iron Lady back to life on the small screen. Anderson's portrayal of Thatcher was not just a mere imitation of the former Prime Minister. She brought a depth and complexity to the character that allowed viewers to see Thatcher in a new light. She humanised Thatcher in a way that had never been done before, and in doing so she created a connection between the viewer and the character that was both emotional and profound. Anderson, who is no stranger to playing strong-willed, complex characters, threw herself wholeheartedly into the Thatcher role. But it seems that the experience left an indelible mark on her, as she claims to have been haunted by the late Prime Minister's ghost. In a strange and fascinating phenomenon, to be sure, one can imagine Anderson sitting at home, sipping tea and reading a script, when suddenly she feels a chill run down her spine. She looks up, and there in the corner of the room stands Thatcher, glaring at her with those piercing eyes. Or perhaps Anderson is walking down the street, lost in thought, when she catches a glimpse of Thatcher's reflection in a shop window. She turns to confront the ghost, but when she looks back, it's gone. Some might dismiss these experiences as mere hallucinations or flights of fancy, but for Anderson, they are all too real. She has spoken openly about her encounters with the ghost of Thatcher, describing them as both terrifying and strangely exhilarating. She stayed a bit longer than she was welcome, Anderson said in a recent interview. It's indeed an eerie thought, but what does it all mean? Is Anderson truly being haunted by the ghost of a dead politician, or is there something else at play? People might argue that it's simply a case of the power of suggestion. After all, Anderson spent months immersing herself in the world of Margaret Thatcher, studying her mannerisms, her speech patterns, and her ideology. 
It's not surprising that she might still feel a connection to the character even after filming has wrapped. Others might point to the fact that Anderson is an actress and therefore more susceptible to delusions and flights of fancy than the average person. But to dismiss her experiences so easily would be to miss the point entirely. There is something undeniably captivating about the idea of a ghost haunting an actress who portrayed them on a screen. It's a bit like a twisted version of the method acting technique where an actor immerses themselves so deeply in a role that they become one with the character. But in this case, the character has taken on a life of its own and refuses to let go of its actress. But is that the most shocking thing in Gillian's life? No, far from it. Heard about her obsession with true crime yet? Gillian Anderson's fascination with true crime is something that should catch your attention. She has confessed that years of comedic work in hit Netflix series Sex Education drove her into an obsession with true crime dramas and documentaries. She devoured books on serial killers, watched documentaries on murderers, and analyzed every detail of infamous cases, analyzing every detail and nuance, and immersing herself in the twisted minds of some of the most notorious criminals in history. It's easy to dismiss her fascination with true crime as a passing fancy or a morbid curiosity. But for Gillian Anderson, it's much more than that. It's a way of understanding the world, of delving into the dark corners of the human psyche and of exploring the boundaries of the human experience. It's a way of confronting the evil that lurks within us all and of shining a light on the injustices that are often hidden from view. You might argue that her obsession with true crime is unhealthy or even dangerous. After all, why would someone want to immerse themselves in the darkest aspects of human behavior. But for Gillian Anderson, it's a way of processing the world around her, of finding meaning and purpose in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. There are a million fascinating and shocking truths about Gillian Anderson, but perhaps even more fascinating is her intriguing and oftentimes tumultuous relationship history. Gillian Anderson has never shied away from being open and honest about her personal life. Her relationships, both public and private, have been a source of fascination for fans and media alike. Anderson's first notable relationship was with her college sweetheart, Clyde Klotz. The two met in 1993 on the set of the horror movie The X-Files and they eventually started dating. They married in 1994 and soon welcomed a daughter, Piper Maru Klotz. However, despite their seemingly idyllic life together, the couple's marriage ultimately ended in divorce in 1997. Following her divorce from Klotz, Anderson began dating filmmaker and photographer Julian Ozan. The two were married in Kenya in 2004 in a ceremony that reportedly featured traditional African drumming and dancing. However, just two years later, the couple announced their separation and eventual divorce. Anderson's most high-profile relationship to date has been with screenwriter and producer Mark Griffiths. The two began dating in 2006 and soon welcomed two sons, Oscar and Felix. While the couple never married, they remained together for about six years before announcing their separation in 2012. Throughout her various relationships, Anderson has been praised for her honesty and authenticity. She has spoken openly about the challenges of balancing her personal and professional lives and has also spoken positively about all her relationships. But beyond the gossip and speculation, it is a story of love, loss and resilience and a reminder that even the most successful and glamorous among us face their own unique challenges and struggles. Whether on screen or off, Gillian Anderson will always be a force to be reckoned with and a true inspiration to us all. As she continues to blaze her own trail in Hollywood, it is clear that she will continue to captivate and inspire audiences for years to come. Her relationship history may be just one small part of her story, but it is a testament to her strength and resilience in the face of adversity. If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. 
click enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.